what's up coffee explorers so i just got on this overnight ferry from from heraklion to athens let's go check out this cabin that i just got so these are the digs for the night i have the whole room to myself and check this out check this out we got this going on private bathroom and shower I really didn't expect to have my own private bathroom on a ferry boat tonight <laughs> yeah as you can tell I'm just a sweaty mess and that's because I just walked about three miles to get here carrying my luggage and uh, yeah that was fun <laughs> I will see you in Athens. Today I am at Caffeine, <laughs> this uh, little, uh, little cafe down here in uh, Piraeus, which is about you now about 15 minutes away from Athens. It's where the port is, and I noticed that this place roasts their coffee in-house, so I said, hey, let's go check this place out. They also do brunch and, and stuff like that here. Well, apparently they didn't roast it today. <laughs> so I originally ordered a filter coffee, which is the Greek way of saying a pour over, but they don't have that today. But So I just ordered a double Greek coffee. We'll see what happens. I also got two eggs, fries, and some spicy Greek sausage. So, we got our double Greek coffee. Uh, if you're unaware of what a Greek coffee is, it's, it's also a Turkish coffee or an Armenian coffee. Uh, <laughs> basically what they do is put, put the coffee grounds super finely ground into a, into a little copper pot and then, they, and then they heat it up from all sides. And, and you get a really stout cup of coffee. So, let's check this one out. Mm. 
good to let it sit for a little bit, let those grounds chill out. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> Wow, I would have figured that the grounds would have settled in the ground. <laughs> That's weird, usually you let it sit for a couple of minutes and the grinds just, just fall to the bottom of the cup. I mean it's kind of chalky because of that, it's weird. I think they go with a little bit darker of a roast than, than I would usually use. You get that deep, intense caramel flavor. Kind of caramel peanuts. Well, now that I get the crema off the top, you know, it's starting to not have so much uh, coffee grinds in it. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a, a dark caramel peanut with uh, maybe a little bit of apricot. Now once you get the grinds out of the way, it starts to develop into a really, really nice cut. we got a plate of food coming here pretty soon too. Everything into one bite here. That Greek sausage is delightful. These potatoes just came out of the fryer. They are hot. We try a piece of the sausage by itself. Yeah, Greek sausage, that's, that's a unique flavor. Um, it's kind of similar to a Polish sausage, but it's got like, I don't know, I'm thinking of tasty fennel. Um, there's something else in there too, I'm just not putting my finger on it. Um, wow. It is good. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's that Pidu Greek spice that I've always heard about, but I've never known anything about. <laughs> so, yeah, who knows? <laughs> the sunny side up there just cooked to perfection. I think over all this uh, place, caffeine, totally worth coming and checking out. If you ever waiting for a ferry or something like that to go out to one of the Greek islands, or, or you just came back into, into the mainland from the islands and you're looking for a place to get a good cup of coffee and, and, and some food, check this place out. But, as always, like, subscribe, and sip exquisitely. recent series that we have playing right now on Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle, you need a bag of bits. And as always, eat
great food.